So welcome back to my channel and you are watching English Flight and I am Parthojit Bora. So today I am going to give you the answers from your tax law spring two marks important question answers that came in the previous papers is this final so let's come and let's ready what is sahib looking for in the garbage dump where is he and where has he come from so this question came in the year 2014 very important sahib is looking for or searching for gold in the garbage dumps sometimes he finds a rupee and sometimes a 10 rupee note and paragraph says he has come from Dhaka Bangladesh and next number question number two what is Sahib's explanation as to why he scrounges for gold in the heaps of garbage dumps when the author Ain Jung asked Sahib that why he scrounges for gold in the garbage dump. Sahib replied that he had nothing else to do, so he did it. Number three, what is the author's reply to Sahib's explanation? Answer is that after hearing Sahib's explanation, the author asked him why he didn't go to school then the author didn't know about sahib's economic condition number four why does the advice sound hollow that means meaningless okay or go to school i say glibly realizing immediately how hollow the advice must sound why was the advice hollow the answer is that when the author advice Sahib to go to school, this advice sound hollow because in their neighborhood there is no any school and his economic condition is too poor to go to school. So next number question. Why do the children in Firozabad lost their eyesight even before they become adults? This question came in the year 2016. Very important. The answer is that Firuzabad is famous for making bangles. Every family is engaged in making bangles in the dark shells without air and light. Children sit with their parents welding pieces of colored glass in circle of bangles. Their eyes were more adjusted to the dark than outside. So they lost their eyesight even before they become adults number six what is the irony of sahib's full name very 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 important question of the chapter or if he knew its meaning the lord of the universe he would have a hard time believing it so what was the difficult for sahib to believe it and why this question came two times in the year 2013 and in the year 2016 so put your best concentration on this question now, now answer is that the full name of sahib is sahib alam which means lord of the universe but it was difficult for sahib to believe because he is only a wreck picker who is searching for gold in the curvis dam for the survival so, being a rag picker and of his acute poverty, this meaning doesn't match with him. Now, the next question is that, what is the significance of bangles in the Indian society? This question came two years back to back, 2012 and 2017. Very important. So, let me give you the answer. The answer is that, bangle plays a a vital very important role in Indian society marriage is impossible for an Indian woman without wearing bangles it symbolizes an Indian woman's suhag auspiciousness in marriage as a custom Indian bride usually wears red bangles onto their wrist 
very important so ready for the next what kinds of bangles are made in Firozabad? The answer is that Firozabad is famous for making bangles. It is the center of India's glass blowing industry. There are different colors of bangles, such as sunny gold, fairy green, royal blue, pink, purple, every color born out of the seven colors of rainbow. The next question is that. Where does Sahib work after giving up rack picking? The answer is that after giving, after giving up rack picking, Sahib work in a tea stall down the road. From the tea stall, he earned 800 rupees and all the meals. Number 10, does Sahib like his job? Why or why not? Or is Sahib happy walking at the tea stall? Explain it. This question came two years. The same question came in the two years, 2012 and 2014. The answer is that after giving up rack picking, Saheb worked in a tea stall. He gets 800 rupees and all his meal. But he is not happy working there because he lost his carefree look. That means his liberty of his early days. The canister which he carry is heavier than the plastic bag of his. The canister belongs to his own master. He lost his freedom and became a servant of others. The next question is that. 11 number. What makes the city of Firozabad famous? Or why is the city Firozabad famous? This question came in the year 2015. Very important. The answer is that the city of Firozabad is famous for making of bangles. Every other family in Firozabad is engaged in making bangles. It is the center of India's glass blowing industry where families have spent generations walking about or around furnaces welding glass, making bangles for all the women in India. And next number is that. What explanation does the author offer for the children not wearing footwear? Or why are the most rack picking children barefoot? What is the probable reason behind such an explanation? This came in a year 2015, very important. So, or it may come, so the question may be like that. Why is not Shaheb wearing chapels? Answer is that. According to one explanation, poor children walk with barefoot. It's not lack of money, but a tradition of stay barefoot. Another explanation is that the lack of money. But according to the author, due to acute poverty, the children don't wear footwear. And next number, to uh, 13 number, is that why don't children like Shahib ever give up hope or what do the rack pickers of Simapuri consider garbage to be? Answer is that Shahib was a young rack picker who is looking for gold or coin in the garbage dumps. All the rack pickers, rack pickers, children like Shahib never give up hope. They sometimes find a rupee note and sometimes 10 rupee note. So for them, garbage is wrapped in order. But for elders, it means of survival. And the next number of question is that 14. What did the man from UDP pray for at a, at a temple as a young boy? The answer is that the man from UDP, when he was a young boy, would go to school past an old temple where his father was a priest. He would stop briefly at the temple and pray for a pain of uh, for the uh, pray uh, for a pair of shoes. Number of 15 question is that what is the change seen now in the temple and the town of UDP? Answer is that after 30 years there are many changes. Now the temple was drawn in an air of desolation in the in the backward the new priests live there were red and white plastic chairs 
a young boy dressed in a gray uniform wearing socks and shoes arrived panting and threw his school bag on a on a falling bed but 30 years before the son of the priest prayed to god for a pair of shoes this was the change now in the temple and the town of odp why is mukesh dream a mirage mukesh lives in pirozabad he is a young bengal maker his dream is to become a motor mechanic and wants to drive a car but mukesh and every other family in pirozabad is engaged in making bangles he lives in a dusty streets of pirozabad where families have spent generations making bangles for women so his so his dream is like a mirage number 17 how did shaheb get the shoes he's wearing the answer is that from a rich boy shaheb gets the shoes which he's wearing the rich boy refused to wear his shoes because of a hole in one of them shaheb wears it and he's happy getting it as if his dream has come true next question is that what doesn't bother sahab regarding the shoes he gets to wear at one time the answer is that sahab wears a pair of shoes from a rich boy who refused to wear them because of a hole in one of them but it doesn't bother him because for him who has worked barefoot even shoes with a hole is a dream comes true next number what are the two different worlds in Firozabad? very important there are two different worlds in Firozabad. the first one is the family caught in the web of poverty burdened by the stigma of curse in which they are born the other world is the vicious circle of sahukars policemen middlemen the keeper of law and the bureaucrats and the politicians number 20 why does mukesh grandmother believe that a god's given lineage can never be broken the answer is that mukesh grandmother herself had seen her husband go blind with the task from polishing the glass bangles she believed that it was their karma or fit or destiny to suffer they were born into the caste of Bengal makers and they have spent generations after generations in this profession so Mukesh grandmother believed that they should never break the god given lineage next number why doesn't Mukesh ever dream of flying a aeroplane Mukesh dreams was to become a motor mechanic and drive a car because he had seen a number of cars hurtling down the streets of Firozabad but he never dream of flying a plane because only f only because only uh, because few aeroplanes used to fly over their city how does and how does one survive in in Simapuri the answer is that survival survival in Simapuri means rack picking garbage is cool for them it is their daily bread for the children garbage means wrapped in on the but for the elders the heaps of garbage is the only means of survival number num, number 23 and the last question why do the young men of Firuzabad fail to organize themselves into cooperation what hinders the young men from organizing themselves into cooperative if the young men of Firuzabad get organize or get cooperative then they will be hauled up by the police beaten and dragged to jail for doing something illegal there is no leader among them who help them in this respect so they fail to organize themselves in the cooperative so that's all for today's video those who are new subscribe my channel for strengthening me for uploading no uh, next interesting videos so uh, I will come with you with another interesting video from your tax. Have a nice day.